Hello friend, welcome and namaskar. Again we are going to calculate coefficient of correlation or Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation through the easiest possible formula or my favorite formula. Uh, we will be going to use all these five summations. These two columns are readily available as are data x and y takes various different types of values. Uh, let us first find x, y, 1 into 3, 3, 2 into 1, 1, 3 into 2, 6, 5 into 0, 0, 6 into minus 1, minus 6, 8 into 2, 16, 10 into 4, 40. x square we required is squared values of x, 1 square 1, 2 square 4, 3 square 9, 5 square 25, 6 square 36, 8 square 64 and 10 square. 100. So individual squared values and then summation that comes to 239. Uh, in the same way we need squared values of y. 3 square 9, 1 square 1, 2 square 4, 0 square 0, minus 1 square 1, 2 square 4 and 4 square 16 and summation of all these values is 35. So ultimately we have all 5 summations required sigma x 35, sigma y 11, Sigma x y 61, sigma x square 239 and sigma y square 35. So let us calculate the coefficient of correlation. Coefficient of correlation equals to n sigma x y minus sigma x into sigma y upon under root n sigma x square minus sigma x the whole square into under root n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square. I am sure some of uh, the friends can say feel that this is somewhat tedious formula, maybe. But the work after substituting the values in this is somewhat easy. Not only that, we use the two original columns and just need to add only three new columns. And the five summations are directly substituted in this formula. So the say part of calculation before using the formula is very easy and very short as compared to the previous two formula. The first formula by definition and another formula with the help of x minus x bar y minus y bar x minus x bar whole square y minus y bar whole square. So I personally believe that using this formula is the easiest one. n is 7. 7 into sigma xy 61 minus sigma x 35 into sigma y 11 upon under root n 7 sigma x square 239 minus 35 the whole square into under root n is 7 sigma y square is 35 minus sigma y 11 the whole square. Let us simplify. 7 into 61 comes to 427. Minus 35 into 11 comes to 350 plus 35, 385. Upon under root 7 into 239 comes to 1673. Minus 35 square 1225 into under root 7 into 35 is 210 plus 35, so 245 minus 11 square is 121. Again, next step of simplification, 427 minus 385. 27 plus 15, so it comes to 42. 1673 minus 1225 comes to 448 into under root 225 minus 121 comes to 124 let us multiply 448 and 124 and then square root of it that is 235.695 approximately so ultimately the last fraction is 48 divided by 235.695 so the coefficient of correlation comes to 0.178 or 0 0.18 if you write the answer in two decimal places. Uh, the answer is very far from 1, very near to 0, but it is positive, 
So we can conclude that broadly there is partially positive correlation between the two variables. Uh, if we go for further say classification of type of correlation, it is moderately positively correlated because the coefficient of correlation is very low say against 0.5 also. So there is not much correlation between the two variables x and y. But whatever the degree of correlation is there, lower or higher, forget it, there is positive or partially positive correlation between the two variables. That's it for now. Thank you very much.